What's going on everyone, so we're going to be watching React to American Horror Story Season 3 Episode 12, which is titled Go to Hell. So last episode was really solid, just getting to see Fiona and Marie take down that organization. I keep forgetting what the name of it was. I don't even know if they had a name that was used enough in the show for me to properly memorize it. But I think these last two episodes are going to primarily focus on internal conflicts within the coven, specifically with characters like Madison and obviously Fiona and her you know, confliction with what she wants to do in regards to who might be the next Supreme. Then obviously we have Delphine and Marie and a lot of stuff going on. So I'm assuming those are what the next two episodes are going to be focused on. And I'm very excited to check it out. Let's get right into this. If you want to see a full and cut reaction, that'll be on my Patreon. Links will be in the description down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's watch. Every generation needs its leader at Supreme. Oh, they talked about the Seven Wonders before, and I never really knew what they were talking about. Seven acts of magic so advanced each pushes the boundaries of craft into art. Oh! Telekinesis? Oh, so the Seven Wonders are different. Okay, so they're all different, like, they're the most advanced powers out there. Interesting. Control of the mind is also known as... Oncilium. That's what Nan had. Transmutation? Oh, wow. <laughs> Divination? Is that reading thoughts? The balancing of scales between of one life force and another. Is that bringing people back to life? I like the thing is, it's, all, it's really cool because all these powers, I think we've seen most of these in some of these characters, but has anyone had all of them though? I don't think so. Pure this descent into the nether worlds of the afterlife. Oh shit. Pyrokinesis, that's the fire one, right? Your highest honor comes at the greatest price. Death is not uncommon. In danger, inescapable. Name. Attempting the seven wonders can get you killed, but perform them, and you are the next supreme. Who's she talking to? Oh, Queenie? I don't even need to read your mind to know what you're doing. <laughs> you want us to perform the seven wonders so that you can find the next supreme and then kill her. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. The only other black witch in this place goes missing. I want to know what happened. She's probably off in some unholy nether realm. Avoiding some with nether that realm? half-baked Beetlejuice. <laughs> Baba Lega Boo Boo. <laughs> He's a deity. Show some respect. Oh my god. Respect is something that is definitely lacking around here. I will grant you that. You will show me respect. God damn. The series has to end with Fiona being killed. It has to, like, <laughs> she's just unhinged, you know? I can't believe you did that to yourself. I've been in Misty's room trying to see something. I've held her boots, hair from her brush, nothing. Maybe she's gone. Or maybe my gift of the sight hasn't come back. Go hug Madison. Yes, do it. Do it. Oh, that was cool. Oh. I, I need to touch you. Let's see her revisions work then. Tell that the would truth, really Cordy, suck are you into did. girls now? The last what? time I touched you, I saw them. What are you afraid I might see? I think she does have the visions. I just think Madison's gonna avoid avoid her from touching her. I don't have any secrets. Then walk over here. <laughs> oh, she doesn't have them anymore. Dude, are you kidding me? She blinded herself just to not get the visions back? That's, that's fucked up. I think she can take me down. Where is Marie? Marie? Yeah, what is going on? I mean, I, I assume Delphine buried her, but why can we hear her voice? Unless she's like a spirit now. What the hell? <laughs> Why? The shade so. Oh, she's back in the past? Is she physically there? Is she just time travel? <laughs> Or is this like a, a, a vision? I don't, I don't know. I'm pretty sure she quite literally just went back into an old memory. What the hell? Everyone's like standing still. <laughs> this is the creepiest the show's ever been. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? You're Papa Legba. You live in a chicken shack? No, <laughs> darling. It's not the hell. It's your hell. By the way, I found this out after the episode, uh, when he was in the episode a couple episodes ago. That's uh, Lance Reddick, right? I came to talk to you about Marie Laveau. I was told you hang out together. She deal. 
There's this thing about being immortal. Your hell's on earth. Hey, dude! Just order and get out of line! Don't make me put you in the fire. <laughs> you better hurry and get back. I've been here five minutes. Time move differently in hell. So she's actually in hell? That that's that's strange. I'm talking to you, bitch. I guess her idea of hell is working there with a bunch of people being rude to her. You made it back. I'm impressed. You're gonna give me some answers. Oh shit. There's gotta be a way to kill her. So long as the voodoo queen live, so do Madame Lalaurie. Then you need to take Marie Laveau out of the equation with me. Can't do that. Me and Marie Laveau, we got the deal. I thought your deal was that every year she needs to perform a service for you. Well, she's not gonna be doing anything while she's chopping the 50 pieces. And those pieces are scattered all over the city. All over the city? Are they gonna go on a little scavenger hunt and try to get her pieces back? <laughs> The elegant and universally admired Madame Delphine Lalaurie was not only a brilliant hostess, but she was also renowned for her remarkable what equestrian the fuck? abilities. What is going on? When do we get to see the attic torture chamber? That part of the house is closed off for renovations. And there is no torture chamber. The attic was used for storage. She's trying to cover up the history of her and try to make it seem like she was a good person, which, which she obviously wasn't. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> How did you find me? Wasn't hard. You're a cliche, Delphine. <laughs> a dog returns to its vomit. This historical site was nothing but a house of lies before I came back. This very house, the center of New Yeah, I don't I don't think there was any lies. It even looks like a monster. The inhuman Lalaurie is said to have murdered. I'm assuming she she killed this person and this instructor here. Or tour guide. You wouldn't call him an instructor, right? You just call him a tour guide. Oh shit. <laughs> you don't believe it? Nobody's gonna waste that time with some uppity Negro and miss a fabulous party. I seem to have mislaid my pocketbook. I think I set it down upstairs. I don't see anything. Oh, that's why she didn't want anyone to go to the attic. Yeah, I want my money back. Do not touch the display items. Ma'am, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave now. Yeah, she about to kill her. Oh. Oh, she's still alive? Yeah, I guess it was one hit with the hammer. It wasn't like too many hits. You have to let this woman go. What you gonna do? Offer you a second chance. You've given her second chances already, technically. <laughs> It really, really shouldn't do any more than that. You can offer your services as a volunteer. You can help the descendants of the people you brutalize. <laughs> Queenie's trying really hard. I admire that, but I don't know. Redemption? I know how redemption works in this century. I do believe in redemption. I do. But it, this is another level. This is uh, really difficult to, you know... Help I someone like this. Is... Humiliated. All is She's a psychopath, you know? Night, I tweeted a photograph of myself that I intended as part of a joke to a woman in Seattle. People have gotten soft, Apologize, weak, lily-livered. All anybody has to do nowadays is shed some tears, say some words. It's called repentance. Oh, repentance my ass. <laughs> you think a man jack among them was well and truly sorry? Not a one. Sorry they got caught is all. I mean, she has a point there, but <laughs> I can't believe she might have a point with that, but not for everything she said. Like her point was that like, yeah, a lot of people do say sorry when they don't actually mean it. That happens all the time. I don't know, man. I don't know what you do with this person. I really don't. Oh. I mean, sure, yeah. I, that's probably the best thing you can do at that point. <laughs> Did you really think self-mutilation would restore your power? Right up until I tried it, you cannot lose your power. Yeah, she really, I don't know why she did that. It was a really bad idea. Grandmother's necklace. Do you remember? Yes. Of course I do. You're saying goodbye. Yes, I am. And I mean it this time. Damn. We both knew it was coming. She's accepting it. I don't, I don't know. Oh, is she finally going to see a vision? I really hope this gives her a vision. Oh. <laughs> Wait, why is Madison's 
body. Oh, because they brought her up the stairs. Yeah. Wait, what the fuck? This isn't... I thought I was going back to when Madison was first killed. No, this is like a... Is this a vision of the future, maybe? Or maybe it's what Fiona wants to do. Holy shit. Well, yeah, that, is that, that's Misty, so it can't be a vision of the future. It has to be just what she wants then, right? Oh my god. Because if it was a vision of the future, I mean, Misty's already gone, so... Oh, shit. What's the matter? Nothing. Maybe that's why she's saying goodbye. Because she knows she's going to have to kill them all. And so it's the same idea as saying goodbye then. Obviously, Cordelia first thought that she was accepting she was going to die. I don't know. A man shouldn't be disturbed when he's playing with his instrument. She knew to come here. She can't love anyone but herself. I'm sure the transcendence of my relationship with your mother is hard for you to understand. I saw everything. <laughs> She's gonna kill all of us and leave you behind too. Oh really? That's included in it? That empty, heartbroken feeling. That's what it feels like to get close to Fiona. <laughs> Oh shit, she is alive. I see you, where are you? I, that's what I assumed at one point, but I was like, I don't know, is she gonna be able to stay alive while she's locked in there, you know? I'm glad she's getting her visions back though, that's good. And she, Misty be able to confirm to her about the fact that Madison did it. I'm gonna go find a maintenance man. No, no, just us. You mean just me and I don't have a jackhammer. Stop <laughs> being so literal and remember who you are. Yeah, you're a witch. That's it. Keep going. Cordelia's a good teacher. She is, truly. They don't give her enough credit. Don't tell me she's dead by now. She's gotta be, right? Because she probably starved to death. Oh no, I, I thought I saw heart rate. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Oh. Our beloved Cordelia has regained her second sight. She's off with Queenie to try and rescue Misty Day. Oh, shit. I just hope they get to her in time. I heard people die after three days without water. Please tell me this is a hallucination driven by my bouquet of a trope of Belladonna. <laughs> Sorry, you can't possibly be back. They already came back? You were supposed to spend your days in romantic splendor with your true love. Yeah, why did they return? We made it to Florida. Get out of here. I want to sleep. We're leaving. He's going to attack him. Damn! Oh, shit. Your pit bull mauled somebody. Is that why you came back? Because you can't handle him? No. I came back because there's no escaping what I am. Vitalum, Vitalis. <coughs> I came back because I'm clearly the next Supreme. <laughs> you bitch. Don't say that out loud, though. Oh. Thought I was some dumb swamp rat you could leave behind to die. Um, yes. <laughs> Damn. Cordelia, I'm good. I don't want to waste my magic on you. I can do you with my hands. <laughs> you hit like a girl. Yeah, I'm, my money's on Misty here. Like, <laughs> damn. This is a full-on brawl. <laughs> oh. Damn. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> he tried and they just went. Oh, kill all of you! Is that blood? Not his. Then whose? Yeah, wait, what? Did he kill Fiona? Holy shit, there's no way he did that. Well, they could bring people back to life, so I, I don't. I don't even know if it's a big deal, but. my mother's. Oh, shit. But I, sometimes I guess you can't bring people back to life. They couldn't do that for Nan, so I, I, I don't know. Oh, we're going back in time to see what happened? See what led up to that? Let's be realistic. When the next Supreme is dead, I'll have 30 years of vitality until another one comes along. He's, he's not going to try to kill her here, though, because it happens at the house, right? You and I both knew that this was next. Ah! I guess he does try to do something here. I don't know. I made you die those little deaths for the first time in your sorry life. I made you sing when you had no chance left in you. 
Damn. What you're doing is a crime against humanity. A betrayal of the true heart of love. Well, I've never been one for love. I live in a floating world, you know? Always two steps ahead of our break. When I was eight years old, my mother brought me a little calico cat. Whoa! Oh, it was here? Wait, but then how does... Oh, no, I get it. He he goes he goes to the house and he was going up the stairs. That's why there was a blood trail and he was looking for them. Oh. So she's really gone. Oh. Where's the body? In the swamps. Holy shit. He fed her to the alligators. Oh my God. Wait, really? So she's gone? It's you just it for her? I can't bring somebody back once they're gator shit. What? Just like that, the Fiona, Fiona's done? Wait, is this the finale? No, this can't be the finale, right? I'm covering guard dog, I'll kill him. No, I'll do it. No. Damn. We really don't need a man to protect us. Hey, he, he was just, he was just, you know, he's trying to help. Let him help. Oh, this kind of parallels to how he was killed the first time, right? By the witches in, um, what was it, the 1800s or something? Or early 1900s? I forget. That's a cool parallel. Oh, is she in hell? She's gotta be in hell. This has gotta be like her version of hell. Why are they doing this to us? Because we can. <laughs> so yeah, she's here as the afterlife, I guess. God damn. Please, no. Have mercy on my soul. This ain't for you. But I will let you choose with that slider down her throat or up her damn. backside. <laughs> How did I get here? What? She just like gained conscience? What? <laughs> that girl ain't never done nothing to me. So why was she doing it before? You will do as you oh, are Papa. Tasked. It is your soul's purpose because I own it. Oh. You have been granted your sweet release from the world of the mortal. And as punishment for your crimes of murder, torture, passion, fashion, and being an all around no good, miserable bitch. <laughs> you will spend all of eternity here. Oh my God. In my home. My home. No, it's mine. Welcome to hell. <laughs> I can't die. We have a contract. One you can no longer fulfill. Damn. I protected so many. How many little babies did you bring to me every year? No one gets away with sin. <laughs> Holy shit. That's put her in a no-win situation there. Everybody pays. <laughs> Damn. So what the hell's gonna be the next episode? I feel like all the problems are- Oh, Madison's still there. So it will be up to us to find our new leader. And the only way is to the test of seven wonders. And since Oh, been, shit. That's the next episode then? Sunday at dawn, it begins. That'll be fun to watch. Yeah, I'm really excited for that. I mean, I don't know if they're going to bring back um, them for that last episode, but if it's just them, I'm fine with that because the main characters to me in this series, I mean, I don't, it's a very ensemble cast type thing. So I, I can't say these were the main characters, but Fiona, Delphine, and Marie felt like they had a lot to do in the story. And they were a lot of like the characters that were constantly involved in the main conflicts. They were probably the three characters that did the most villainous things. I mean, including Madison, I guess you throw her in there too. So them being gone, I just kind of feel like, well, there's not much more conflict left for them to cover this season. But I guess the tests of the Seven Wonders, there you go. That's that's what you're going to have. And I would love if that's the whole episode, to be honest. I, I wouldn't mind if maybe Fiona was alive, but I feel like that death for her could work just fine. And I don't think Marie and, and, and Delphine are coming back. They seem like they're they're stuck in hell forever. So <laughs> that's that. Um I feel like that side of the storyline, a lot of the time, didn't have clear focus. The Delphine and Marie thing, I feel like, it, I don't know, because I'm not sure if it's done. I'm not sure if there's going to be more to it in the next episode. But to me, it felt like it was a very much like, it was an interesting storyline. I really did like watching those characters. But I think I like those characters 
interacting with other people more like Marie and Fiona, for example, I think they had a lot of great scenes together, but the back and forth between, you know, just constantly seeing Delphine. I know part of me liked it though, because it did show that certain people just can't be redeemed. I guess that was a big part of what her character arc was. Cause I felt like maybe they were going to try to do a redemption arc, but it was clearly something that just couldn't happen. Like she was not capable of that. So in one sense, I think that is interesting. I just don't know if the storyline surrounding that necessarily worked in every way, but I don't know. Again, we'll see in the next episode. I really enjoyed what they did with uh, Fiona. And <laughs> fucking Misty. Cordelia is one of the best characters, I would say. I like how she got her powers back and she's able to now see those visions. But I don't know. I'm really excited. I feel like this episode is going to be really cool. This next one, just getting to see them, you know, testing out these abilities and stuff. And if we don't see Fiona Marie or Delphine, that'll be OK. But like I said, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't uh, you know, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you want to see the full reaction, that'll be my Patreon. Links that will be in the description down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Peace out, everyone.